Bill, and welcome back. I got a tremendous amount of interest in the last video where I talked about the merging of 3D printing and paracording. So this is a part two. Specifically though, we're gonna talk about 3D printing jigs. Now, the two most popular types of jigs are of course bracelet jigs and monkey fist jigs. So that's what I'm <clears throat> going to talk about today. Uh, we're gonna start off talking about the bracelet jig. But first I wanna talk, and they are not a sponsor, they're just who I personally use. Um, where do I get these prints, these, uh, these plants? I go to printables.com. There where I go, I've picked up everything from the fids to the buckles, all of that. That is where I get the, my stuff. There are other sites, but printables.com has been good to me, and that is where I have found all of these plans, including the ones I'm going to talk about today. So first, let's talk about the bracelet one. So now this is... This bracelet jig is basically a few different parts. The two end caps, the base, this piece here, the slide, and then this knob for tightening and loosening so that you can make it as long or as short as you want. So if you wanted it this long, you could make something that is 14 and a half inches if you wanted to go that long but you can just tie it down here or slide it down here tighten this end good and tight and that becomes you can go nine inches if you want shorter than that, uh, you're going to have to, um, you could, but uh, you would have to do some things, which I will show you how to do. But one of the things I like about this jig is it gives you the option of being able to have and uh, add some uh, extensions, for lack of a better term. So these, this jig comes with these for larger and these for smaller. So if you wanted to do some type of brace, uh, a clasp, anything of that nature, you could. Uh, by simply taking them, so let's say you wanted to do a keychain. You could take it, put it in here, Take this piece, put it in, slide it in this hole, and there you go. Now, if you wanted to, you could work from here. You're going to get a little pull. But if you didn't like that, and this is one of the reasons I like this design, you could also put it in right here where it's a little thicker. Gives you a little bit more support. The other reason I like this design, and I think it's great for newbies, is it gives you some versatility in that if you wanted to, you can do some looping here. So you could tie off here, loop around, and do some other things. So this is the, a very basic design. It's very similar to one of my first ones, which was the Easy Jig. So you can see it's a little bit bigger, sits a little lower, but it's a very similar design. The difference being this actually is um, has the brackets here so that you can uh, do some looping, do some things along those lines. So, but does it hold up? Well, I can tell you it does, but let's actually see if it does. Let me grab some clasp 
and we'll make something and I'll show you how it does. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick little paracord bracelet. It'll be roughly six and a half inches. So let's see how this goes. I'm not gonna cut it. You guys will see everything as I'm doing it. And it's been so long since I've used a jig, I don't even remember how much I actually need. So this is one thing with this. The, these posts are not very long. So one thing you could do is you could screw these in. You could take a simple screw, screw them in. If you wanted something more permanent or find something longer. So that is something that you could do to make a very simple and easy upgrade. Should you choose to do something along these lines. And you can see that keeps falling out. So definitely an upgrade there would be worth it. So this is why I do this stuff so you don't have to. As I was prepping this up, this little piece here broke. So you can see these are not strong enough. So what I will have to do is screw these in. So give me a moment to do so and then we'll get right back to it. So I just took a couple of screws like this and I just put them right here and it's much better already. So. <clears throat> Now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to make a quick little uh, cobra weave. There you have it. All I gotta do is cut, clean it up, melt it. We got a nice little bracelet. I'd say the biggest concern, the biggest issue with this over say this is it's lightweight. It's so lightweight that it's almost, uh, it moves around a lot. Uh, you can change this by adding more infill, putting in more walls, that'll make it stronger, it'll make it a little heavier. But it'd almost be nice if there was a way to screw this down or um, uh, be able to put it in place. So. So that was this. I would say that this is really good for somebody who say is new, because uh, you could, uh, much like I showed with the the easy jig, uh, you could brace it as you're sitting down, brace it against a a, um, a, a table or a desk, and use it that way, um, and it would be excellent. Uh, 
this would probably be very good for a newbie. For the more experienced, eh, not so much. But you know what? We all have to start out somewhere and this is a good way to start. So um, this is definitely worth the use of the uh, filament. I would say put screws here versus um, those pegs. But otherwise, and if you have a 3D printer, you can just choose to not do those pegs. But the other nice thing, like I said, is with these, you can use it if you want to make a keychain, if you needed um, to knot on one side and you were doing something else, if you needed some framing, it gives you uh, uh, some different options here. So that is the bracelet maker. Now let's talk about the monkey fist. I do not make a lot of monkey fist, but this is a pretty simple design. Basically the concept, you can go as wide as you need to. It has, these are made out of PLA filament. Now, if you had um, some wood uh, hibachi steaks or uh, metal, you could go in with those, but I did not. So I just have these filaments here. So we're gonna make a monkey fist. I don't make a lot of these. It's not my go-to, but it is something, um, you'll see I'm not using a ball. That is because I don't have a, any um, uh, marbles or ball bearings or anything like that. And as I tell my scouts, if they want to make a monkey's fist, you can use just about any material. In my case, I took two rocks and I taped them together. So we'll see how this works out. But basic, you know the basic concept. As I said here, we're just gonna do it on the smallest side. Now with the PLA, that stuff does uh, bend and warp a little bit. So uh, this may be something where maybe these sticks aren't the best, but the base is, really this is just more discovery. So we're gonna do a qu uh, quick little monkey's fist and see how it works out.
there we go. Uh, really, that was not bad. I think I would probably be better if I would have had, and this is on me for being unprepared, for if I would have really had a marble or something like that. It would have been more round, would have been easier to do. Uh, I do think having something a little bit sturdier, maybe like I said, a wood uh, chopsticks or something like that could work, but the the jig itself is really well done. It's very simple. It's very easy. So I definitely would recommend this one as well. So with all that said, who would like a chance to win this? Do you have a friend that you're trying to get into paracording? Um, I am going to do a giveaway, another one. So you can win this, both of these, this, as well as the FID and some of the clasp that I've created. You can win all of this. You can give it away for Christmas to a friend, somebody you want to get uh, started with paracording, anything like that. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then leave a comment on this or any of my other videos between now and October 1st. On October 1st, I will take uh, eat every person who is comments, likes, and subscribes, and I will uh, randomly select one person to win all this. I will ship it to you, and you can give it away. You can use it however you want. So that's it for this, uh, this video. If you guys have any other ideas, if you have any other uh, paracords you want me to try, please uh, leave a message below. Please also uh, support this page by using my Amazon uh, link below. All that money goes right back into the channel. So until next time, keep paracording. Thanks.